Mm, that's what I'm shorting. I need mega fuses. So these are the DC to DC converters. Come by wine, sounds like you're whining. I'm whining because I come by wine. <laughs> Eating my ass to get back to work. Let's get to work. Welcome to Sating Lady Africa. I'm Ricky and this is my wife Simone. After two years of hard work on our boat, she's finally ready to take us from South Africa across the Atlantic to the Bahamas. Be sure to join in our adventures by subscribing down below. Although we have gone a bit stir crazy, we do have our lockdown family right next door. A bunch of cruisers all stuck on their boats in South Africa as well. So we make the most of it and do what we all do best when in hibernation, eat. But as the weekend comes, it goes just as fast and back to boat projects we go. So be sure to subscribe below and click on the notification bell to alert you when we upload a new episode. And give this video a big thumbs up. It's a free way you can support our channel. Mmm, that's what I'm shorting. I need mega fuses. You said you had mega fuses. I didn't have enough though. I need 250 amp mega fuses to tidy this up, which is just that comms cable there. And all of the bottom stuff must come out, and then I need to tidy up the cables. Are we finally connecting our DC to DC converters? I hope so, and I hope they're going to work flawlessly because the ramp current on that unit is a bit heavy. But if all else fails, we've got two in parallel, so that should be plenty juice. I want to put more cables. Can you not fit it in there? As you guys know, running cables is always a happy day. So we ran it from around rotors, we ran it through there, down here, to there, and then across to there, where they'll be mounted. Are you going to have to drill a hole again? I think so. Is there a hole underneath it? Negative. Oh no. I was hoping they would be. Do you manage to make a hole through? Mm -hmm. So these are the DC to DC converters. If you guys ever want to put DC to DC converters, I've used these guys before. For those that don't know, they, these are Victron Orions and they are freaking good. They're top notch converters. So if you've got boats that are say 24 volts and you want to reduce it to 12 volts for your essential running stuff, these are probably some of the most efficient DC to DC converters on the market. So now we're finally installing them after. Yeah. And, and, and the great side of this is um, I can crank it up so I'm probably going to be running our water maker at about 27 volts 27 28 volts which would be the equivalent of a 24 volt system on fully charged mode pretty much we really need to stock up on screws We connect up there on the bus bar, but I haven't got the fuse. I'm only going to get the fuse tomorrow. So we're going to connect up now just to see which one's positive and negative. Put the lugs on, heat shrink them, plug it in, and then we can probably test it today and then tomorrow I'll add the fuse. I don't recommend you do this at home. Always add the fuse before Are testing. you going to test it without the fuse? No, I'll probably wait until tomorrow just to be safe. I'll just uh, set it up to, so it can run and set the voltage where I want it and all of that and then we'll um, do the test to the motor tomorrow oh we can go get the fuses and also get the wood for the door we need to make a list of all the things so we can do all the stops tomorrow um i can close this side up tomorrow once i put all the connections in here and clear this out i'll close this Wait, side what up. are you doing 
Yeah, connecting power. How do you like your bus bar though? Yeah, nice. Are you happier with your electrical setup now? Well, once it's all tidied up, that's going to be way neater. Way neater, way better, just overall. Why was it bothering you so much? Because it was so freaking untidy, man. And those little bus bars I was getting, I was experiencing uh, voltage drops across them. And if anyone was wondering, mm -hmm. you agree? Ricky no. is okay. Yeah, I don't have Corona. I'm fine. Yeah, he's fine. <laughs> he is all healed up. <laughs> <laughs> Just a case of man flu. Just a case of man flu. But he's all better. Strong like bull. Just short in whiskey. In, in need of some good. Cape Town wine. Yeah. That's all. We can't have wine because no alcohol is allowed to be sold. So we're so well behaved. Um, so you can't buy wine, you can't buy any alcohol. You can't. You can't buy wine. Sounds like you're whining. I'm whining because I can't buy wine. Um, but we can now travel within our province. So we can now move around the Western Cape. So now these cables are live, right? Now I don't know which one's positive or negative. So you just take your multimeter and it's 12 volts. So don't try this with 220 or 110. And you just hold it. And it shows 13.33. But if I flip it around it's and I put the beep. positive here, no. Nope, and I put the negative there, it'll show me negative 13.33. That means it's telling me I've got it in reverse. That means it's telling me that this sucker here is the positive. And that's the negative. And that's the negative. <laughs> to touch it, if we, had the f if we had the fuse, it would blow the fuse. But if you don't have a fuse like what I have it now, then you would pop the system or burn right. cables and cause a lot of damage. So that is why we're not going to test it now until we have the fuse. I'm gonna call it a day. I'm pretty knackered. Ricky's pretty six, knackered. Six. You can't get stuff. Everything's closed now because it's already past five. So we're gonna call it a day and then hopefully we can get all the stuff tomorrow and finish this and get it done. Got a big ne week next week. Got a, another whole lithium install on on a new boat. That's gonna. That's a lot of work. Um, so hopefully I can get it done by the weekend to hand over to him. Yeah, and hopefully our water maker and electrical will be done, which is another two big items off the list. This wasn't like 100% necessary to change it, but I just really wasn't happy with the system and it's always going to be back in the back of my mind. And yeah, the water maker will hopefully be running perfectly with our two converters. We'll know that tomorrow. And we just got what the hydraulic stuff to give a service and check over because obviously that was a new install that we yeah. did. There's a reservoir that I didn't mount it, I just kind of put it in there <laughs> to <laughs> sail down here. So we can get that done, that's a big plus. A lot of stuff left on our list. Yeah, there's really not a lot of stuff left. And then we want to go sailing, obviously not next week, but possibly the week thereafter. Take it out for a sail so we can test the new sails, make sure that everything's fine there. So if there's not, they can do the trimming. Been, I've been thinking about it a lot. I love the synthetic rigging that we have, but I just feel it's so much effort to tension all of them all the time. So I'm thinking of adding six turnbuckles to the bottom of every one and then tension it up and then just adjust with the turnbuckles. Tensioning systems, I don't think like we're ready to go away from turnbuckles yet. Um, I thought maybe we would have been, you know, with the tensioning, depends how, how often you had, but I feel. Uh, you still need the turnbuckles, especially with synthetic rigging and temperature fluctuations, you know. Being down here especially in Cape Town, that, yeah. it's super cold, the rig's hot, a little loose. And then it's cold, and then it's hot. But once it warms up, the rig tightens up, and when we get to the Caribbean and it's 40 degrees Celsius, it's going to see temperatures that the rig never saw before. It might be extremely tight then, and then with just having turnbuckles, you can just go half a turn or a turn off and just ease that ease that pressure a lot easier than what we have to do now to tension the rig. We're pretty up to date with our episodes now. We don't have extra footage. 
So you are now in real time of what we're up to every single week. You're pretty much going to follow us what we do every week. And yeah, so, huh? I didn't say anything. That was the pump. <laughs> oh, I thought you were mm. <laughs> No, that was the mm. pump. Mm. <laughs> Thing you see is uh, up to date. It's right now. It's, it's happening. It's exactly you maybe a week behind because we have time to to edit and upload the video but you're pretty much watching yeah you're not like the same time as, as what it's what happening what we did that week that's pretty much what you're looking yeah. so if you're watching it on saturday it's what we did monday to when i upload you guys won't believe how tough it is to get a mega fuse in cape town for some reason it's especially the size that i'm looking for um, but unfortunately the bus bar that I put in only takes mega fuses you can't put a and L fuses or T uh, T style fuses or anything like that so you it has to take a damn mega fuse we like to end off our day with eating dinner and watching our current favorite show then we wake up the next morning have some coffee and we're ready for the next task at hand Our first big task was to find these damn mega fuses. Check how fast this race was going. I'm doing 110 k's an hour on the freeway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has another Vespa coming up. Oh my word, oh. he's hauling ass too. Check the these Cape Townians yes. on their Vespas are insane. So we've been driving around everywhere trying to find this mega fuse. Do you think we can find mega fuses yet? No. Um, that's a struggle when you go to new areas that you gotta find your suppliers and everything again. Like if we we're still in PE, we'd know exactly where they are. But here we don't, so now we're running around trying to find it and that takes almost the whole day. So hopefully we can come right and get started, finish up our DC to DC converters. Another thing is Ricky has a few jobs they have to do obviously, but we also wanna spend our weekends really kind of traveling and exploring more because we haven't really traveled the Western Cape before or around Cape Town. We have only been here for maybe the maximum amount of time we've ever been here was three days. So we would like to go see things and do things and because you're allowed to travel now, but with lockdown restrictions easing up. So if you are from Cape Town or from the Western Cape or whatever, what would you recommend we go see? What was a highlight place for you to go? Um, restaurants, you name it. What, what would you suggest we go and explore? Leave a comment below and letting us know what you think. We finally found the Mega Fuse after looking for them forever. We got them so now we can finish up our DC to DC converter for our water maker and then start it up and hopefully it works. So, are you happy you got Mega Fuses? I'm pooped. Oh. How many places did we go to to get those fuses? Like 20. <laughs> That's what they look like, see? Simple mega fuses. Seems like they were freaking gold in this town to find. What are you doing? Nothing. I'm not going to use your lines. Ricky says, I need a cool down. I'm overheating. <laughs> I need a snack. <laughs> I need a snack, I'm over here. That's exactly <laughs> what you said. Everyone, shit's getting out of hand. How I'm much? just lying over here, relaxing a bit. Come. Moments. Oh, it's a lot. Pa. Let's go. Beating my ass to get back to work. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. No. Uh, he can rest in two hours' time and he can sleep all he wants. We just need to finish this task because it's like k killing us both. You use the same motivational stick my dad used to use on me. <laughs> <laughs> we put the final touches on the neatening up of our electrical wiring and got back to installing the DC to DC converter. much neater is that and neater better overall just also it is neater for sure now i could if i wanted to just get a really big heat shrink tighten that one and then put a heat shrink over that and if you fall i will catch you Ooh, we will dance away gloomy days right We 
I can reach you from a distance. So we just want a voltage check and I want to increase the potentiometer to 28 volts. Is this the moment of truth? Yeah, this is whether she runs or not. I don't know if it's going to run though. I'm not confident, I think we need a big cap. Motherfucker. <laughs> I your language. That thing ran it. Ran it first time, no problem. What is that thing that just went... <laughs> no water supply, I think. Yep. What do you mean? Oh, is it, oh, is it switch off? Yeah. Perfect. She runs! Off one Victron DC to DC. I bought two. That thing's a little machine. I can't believe it. We could finally take off Watermaker. So our Watermaker's done. There is a few testing we still want to do, like running it for a long duration of time. But other than that, it's complete. Ricky's doing some further testing there at the bottom. If you'd like this video, don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like to join our Lady Africa family, you can do so by clicking on any of the links in the description below. Have an awesome weekend, guys, and stay safe.